Our human brain is divided as left hemisphere and right hemisphere. Left hemisphere controls the right side of our body. Our right hemisphere controls the left side of our body. If your right side brain is activated better than the left side, consequently you will have more creative skills but less math and language skills. If your left side brain is activated better than the right side, subsequently you will gain more language skills but struggle with personality developments and creativity. Cognitive skills or brain based skills you need to acquire and develop for complex learning, problem solving, decision making and to improve your power of concentration and for building confidence. Normally, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere are activated independently. For developing cognitive skills, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere need to be activated jointly. Most of us do not practice any exercise for joint activation of both hemispheres. In fact, any such specific mental exercises are rarely accessible in our education framework. Music Skills, a foundation for music education research projects in UK, recently developed a music-based mental exercise for cognitive sense development in the brain. This exercise may be the only neurological exercise accessible for joint activation and coordination of both hemispheres and with the cortex region. Cortex region is another region in our brain controls visual perceptions. By practicing this exercise, you can develop cognitive skills and also learn to play keyboard music just like two mangoes in one stone throw. In this music course, at each and every stage, the learner needed to apply and practice the above said neurological exercise and that exercise is good for developing cognitive skills. This is also an integrated course with inspiring curriculum, aesthetic sensitivity, creative interaction and character molding. This course will be conducted in your school or college as a core activity or as an extracurricular activity. Alternatively, if you have a PC or laptop in your home, you can practice this course at your own place and time. Not only you, your brothers and sisters, and even your mom and dad can practice to play the keyboard since age is no bar to play music. This is Sara, who recently completed the keyboard music course based on the mental exercise for cognitive sense development. How nice to see you after a long time. What did you do in the long vacation, Sarah? I just stayed at home, uh, learned to play music keyboard with a new technology. You know, I have completed my course within four months. Did you practice to play keyboard music at home? That was within four months. I can't believe it. Lily, I know you won't believe me, but you have to. I participated in a music competition and won the first prize, you know. Sarah, you give me surprise over surprise. Okay, I would believe you if you could tell me how to learn keyboard music by using a new technique. With pleasure. To start with, I'm going to place you in a new learning environment. What do you mean by a new learning environment? Well, in this environment, the entire learning process takes place in the front of computer with a music keyboard. Okay, let me show you how it works. Remove the computer keyboard and replace the music keyboard here. And you know, 
This is a specially designed headphone. Insert one pin into the computer and the other pin into the music keyboard. Now place the headphone on your head and start practicing keyboard music. This is what we mean by a new learning environment. When you practice keyboard music in this new environment, you will hear in your right ear the sound of the music notes you are playing in your music keyboard. You will also listen in your left ear the accurate sound of the same music notes played from the computer. You will practice again and again to bring both sounds together and listen as one sound of music to a visual guidance on the monitor screen. While practicing this mental exercise, your right hemisphere of the brain will be activated by a sound from the left ear. The left hemisphere will be activated by a related sound in the right ear. And the cortex region will also be activated by the visual perception. The simultaneous activation is necessary for the development of your multi-sense cognitive skills in your brain. It's really amazing. I think I need to practice music by using this new technology. Can you help me, Sarah? Why not? To begin with, you should know about the music notes. In a music language, there are only seven single sounds is known as music notes. The seven music notes are denoted by the letters C, D, E, F, G, A, B in Western music and known as C major scale. The same seven notes are identified as Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni in Carnatic music in the scale of Sangaravaranam Raham. The seven music notes are placed in a music keyboard repeatedly. Of course, the music notes are not visible. To practice to play music notes, you should know how to read a music sheet. What's a music sheet, Sarah? Music sheet. To compose a song, the music directors write a set of music notes for the song in a piece of paper known as music sheet. In each music sheet, sets of five straight lines are drawn and known as staff lines. A blank music sheet looks like this. The musicians place the notes on the stop line, in between the stop lines, and also above and below the stop lines. Musicians draw only the beat symbols like this for the music notes in a music sheet. What do you mean by beat symbols? Beat symbols are related to the rhythm of music, you know. What's the rhythm of music, Sarah? Rhythm is what makes music to move and flow through a pattern of long and short sounds. When you write notes in a music sheet, the symbols of the notes will tell you which sounds are long and which ones are short. The long and short sounds are known as beats. The musicians made the following symbols for beats. Four beat long, two beat long, one beat long, half beat long, quarter beat long, one eighth beat long, one sixteenth beat long. As a student of music, you have to practice the art of playing a note with the exact beat duration to bring a good rhythm in music. This is the sound for four beat long duration. This is the sound for one beat long. Lily, now I'm going to show you a music sheet with beat symbols. Let's listen to the rhythm of a music which you are going to practice in this course. How is it? Wow, very nice. Is there anything else to learn? Yes, Lily. You will also learn to play score view of music exercises in this course. What do you mean by score view of music? Well, to compose a melody, the music directors write a set of notes in their music sheet. 
Rhythm notes replaced by their beat symbols in the music sheet is known as score view of music. Lily, let me open score view music exercise which you're going to practice in this course. Sara, in two or three occasions, uh, you use the phrase called structure of notes. In what way it would be helpful in learning a music? Very good question. Your question is related to music composing. To compose a melody, the musicians write the music notes in an order. A set of notes in an order is known as music notes structures. An example of writing notes structures for a melody. Ragam, Sankara Bharanam, Beats. 1 and 2 only. Notes order, Carnatic notes, Western notes, ascending order 1. Sa sa re re ga ma pa, pa pa da ni da ni sa, pa pa da ni da ni sa, sa sa ni ni da da pa, pa pa ma ga ga re sa. Papa Magagarisa. Now let us listen these notes textures in score view of music. In this keyboard music course, there are more than 50 notes structures for melodies are available for you to practice. While practicing, if you observe and study the note structures, you would be able to understand the basic art of music composing. Lily, at this stage I would like to tell you something. In this keyboard music course, there are 15 exercises for fingering movements. 20 music note exercises for rhythmic pattern of music and 24 score view of music exercises for practicing to play melodies for each and every exercises. Slow, medium and normal speeds of tempo are available for you to practice. Even though this course is designed for a music learner, the main objective is to improve your power of concentration and confidence building. Is it possible? Yeah, it is possible. While practicing to play music in this technique, your eye contacts, reading abilities, hearing senses and fingering movements are all focused at one point, music. If you sit and practice just for an hour, your mind will be fully engaged in music and you can't think anything else. Moreover, after practicing for an hour, if you raise from your chair, you will suddenly feel some sort of mind relaxation. When you are able to play confidently the music notes for a melody, in the expected rhythm and tempo, you would feel as if you have achieved something and that feeling would spark your confidence building. To test a trial version at the research stage, some vulnerable and hyperactive children were engaged to practice this course. After they completed the course, their parents observed some positive changes in their children's behavior patterns. Uh, some of the hyperactive children were able to calm down and felt as if they had achieved something in music learning. Fantastic! By the way, Sara, is there any prescribed syllabus or curriculum for this course? Yes, it is. This is the core curriculum course booklet to be studied and referred while practicing the course. Also, you have to maintain a diary for your progression since your diary will be assessed before you take up the examination. Lily, I think I briefly covered everything about keyboard music course. However, I need you to understand that learning keyboard music is not your priority but 
by practicing this mental exercise again and again, you will be able to activate the left side brain, right side brain and the cortex region in your brain. This activation and coordination of the main regions in your brain is absolutely necessary to develop multi-sense cognitive skills. The skills you need for complex learning, problem solving and decision making. Sara, really need to thank you. I just came in to say hello to you but you showed me the gateway to explore the world of music and train my brain in a new direction. <laughs> keyboard music what have to do next if your school or college offers this course please join there alternatively you could buy a course package and learn from home in your own pace and time not only you your sisters or brothers and even your mom and dad can practice to play keyboard music since age is no bar to play music uh, what do you mean by a course package the package contains a course software, a music keyboard, a specially designed headphone and a core curriculum booklet. Where can I get this package? Please contact Music Skills or Trinity School of Music through phone, email or visit the following websites. <laughs>